Well, it's a double-edged sword. I, we did a great job offensively of taking care of the football. Uh, we did not turn the football over. We did give up a safety, but we did not turn the football over. But on the other side of it, we need to take the football away on defense, and that's been one of the, you know, that's been one of the criteria of playing defense here at Tennessee is, is doing a better job of taking the football away. And we didn't have enough turnovers generated defensively. Uh, you know, it was a typical scrimmage. Uh, you know, some good, some bad. Tremendous teaching points in terms of situational football. You know. Uh, and again, doing your job, every individual is one out of another. And if one individual doesn't execute their assignment, that lends itself for a big play. We gave up some big plays on defense, and it was in, in defensive football, everything starts on your alignments, setting the front the right way. And we had some youngsters uh, not set the front the right way, and obviously your gaps are exposed, and there comes a big play. Uh, same thing offensively, uh, whether it's, you know, four guys protecting great and the fifth not protecting, or the way we climb up to the second level on a linebacker and a run play should be out the gate. All those things, it was great to go back and watch and I really point out to our team that really the difference between winning and losing and the small details are the details that always add up to the big details. Steve, Rob, Regarding the offensive line, the two tackle spots, the center, you said those Positions were up for competition. I was checking. Anybody started to separate themselves there, and at what point do you need to kind of have that starting five in mind? I've never believed in setting timetables uh, because uh, those positions will be set when when they take those positions over. So you never put yourself paint yourself in a corner and say we have to have a starting this number by this time. Uh, I, I believe that'll take care of itself. Uh, Offensive line as a group has been working exceptionally hard, uh, and they're being challenged every day. Like I told you, they're seeing things from bare front to two down to you know different packages, radar packages. They're seeing it all, stuff that they've never seen before. So that's really accelerating the learning curve. Uh, so you have to take that into consideration, but I think that for the most part, all those guys are doing a great job, and they're competing. And it's like I said earlier, uh, during the week, don't compare, just compete. Uh, and they're doing that. I see the individuals taking great strides each and every day, so there is no timetable. And as we know, in the offensive line, you don't have a starting five. We need a starting six, seven, eight. Uh, in this conference, with the level of physicality, that's the way I look at it, is we need a starting seven or eight. We just don't need a starting five.